Good morning students. Welcome back to your science class. In our previous video, we have discussed in detail regarding the structure as well as the function of veins. And before that, we have also seen the structure and functions of arteries. So it means that two blood vessels that are arteries and veins are clear to us. Now the third and the last blood vessels that we will discuss in today's topic is capillaries. So here you can see this is the structure of capillary. Yes, this is a small opening which is known as lumen. This lumen is the inside space of a tabular structure or an opening and through this opening there occurs an exchange of materials inside the blood so that is why this lumen is very important and the other thing that we can see in this structure is the endothelium what it is endothelium so this is the structure of capillaries and we know that capillaries what does it do? It connects arteries and veins. Capillaries kya karta hai? Arteries or veins ko aapas mein connect karta hai. So this is what is done by the capillaries. Now let's see the major functions that are performed by capillaries. The first one is capillaries allow the exchange of materials between the blood and the tissues. What does it allow? It allows the exchange of materials. And this exchange of materials take place between, between the blood and the tissues. So what does capillaries allow? It allows the exchange of materials between the blood and the tissues. The second function is it has a very thin permeable walls. So the walls of capillaries are very thin. Why they are thin? They are thin because they have to allow only one cell to exchange the materials. What this thin permeable walls do? It allows only one cell to exchange the materials. So capillaries have a very thin permeable walls and this permeable walls what does it do? It allows only one cell to exchange the materials. So this is the second function that are performed by capillaries. And the third thing is that in capillaries the pressure rises and then gradually falls. Now this thing has to be noted down that is in capillaries the pressure rises. So when the blood flows from arteries towards the capillary at that time the pressure rises. And when the blood flows from the capillaries towards the veins at that time the blood flows. Once again listen. In capillaries, the pressure rises and then gradually falls. Capillary mein pehle pressure badta hai, fir ghatta hai. And the reason is, or reason kya hai, ki when the blood flows from arteries, shab blood arteries se, capillaries ki taraf aata hai, at that time the pressure rises. Us time pe pressure rise karta hai. And when the blood flows from the capillaries towards the veins, jab, Capillaries se vein ki taraf jata hai. At that time, the pressure of the blood falls. So, therefore, in capillaries, the pressure rises and then gradually falls. So, these are the three functions that are performed by capillaries. And students, all these functions, you have to learn it. What you have to learn? You have to learn the three important functions that are performed by capillaries. What are those? Let's see once again. First of all, capillaries are fine blood vessels that connect arteries and veins. So, what does capillaries do? They connect arteries and veins. So, you can say that it is a connective tissue between arteries and veins. The second function is Capillaries allow the exchange of materials between the blood and the tissue. So, the exchange of material take place between the blood and the tissues through capillaries. The third is, 
capillaries have a thin permeable walls what it have it have a thin permeable walls and this permeable walls what does it do it enable in the diffusion of oxygen carbon dioxide and other materials what it enables it enables diffusion of oxygen carbon dioxide and other materials so all these three functions are very important and students you have to learn it okay so that's all for today's topic thank you and have a nice day